Hello, hello, welcome to today's video. My name is Christine, and in today's episode of Croctober, don't laugh, it's a thing, we are going to be making desserts in the crock pot. Now, if you don't know what in the world I am talking about, Crocktober is basically a group of YouTube ladies who have put together a crock pot recipe for every single day in the month of October, and today is my day and the beginning of sweet week. Starting today through the rest of this week, every crock pot recipe will be a dessert of some kind. If you want to check out all of the ladies that are doing a video this month, I will leave the full list of YouTubers down in the description box for you, as well as a link to the Facebook page where you can go join the community, get more recipes, and even enter this week's giveaway. Today, I will be making two desserts. Well, they're the same dessert, but I found two different recipes, but one is not exactly going to go as planned, but we will proceed anyway. For our first go at my cinnamon pull apart rolls, I have the following ingredients. A crock pot, okay, it's not an ingredient, it's a tool. Sugar, cinnamon, more sugar, butter. <laughs> the brown sugar and butter are melting on the stove right now. Two cans of flake biscuits, size 16 ounces each. Now the instructions say to spray your crock pot with a, ooh, a nonstick spray. Oh my gosh. Okay, that one's like almost empty. And a jar. Like, like that. Maybe. And go with that. Because you're gonna set the jar in the middle and it's gonna be like a like a bunt cake kind of effect. We're gonna pop open these cans. Is it gonna pop? Okay, now I'm like really nervous to do the second one. Wow! <laughs> like, what? That's the, okay, that's the most that's ever popped before. Holy smokes. Wow, oh, that like really hurt my hand. Okay, be warned, those are dangerous. And I'm gonna use these to cut each biscuit into six. Like so. So they're like that size, okay? And this one I have <laughs> just uh, white sugar and cinnamon, like that. And you'll put the biscuits like that. You could also make your own dough, but ain't nobody got time for that. So let's go ahead and do that now. <laughs> Instructions say to pour the rest of the cinnamon sugar on top if you had any left, and I had a bunch left. So there we go. And then pour the top with my butter brown sugar mixture. So there's a whole lot of sugar going on here. Oh, like a lot, a lot. We are going to put a clean kitchen towel over the top like this. Top it with your lid and we're gonna cook on high for one hour. At 30 minutes, we're gonna lift the crock piece, spin it 180 degrees so it cooks evenly. That's what the instructions say. So we'll check back in an hour, we'll see you then. Do you remember that one time that I told you it was gonna be done in an hour? I lied. It's one hour spin another hour. So it's been two hours, so now it's done. Almost smells like it burned. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it looks pretty good, but this side over here looks very dark. So we're gonna flip it over and see if I can salvage it at all, I guess. All right. Fingers crossed, is it gonna work? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I think you also need grips. Okay, there we go. All right. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> That's the burned side right there. Do you see how dark that is? But that looks okay, that looks okay, that looks okay. And that's a little dark there, so maybe we'll eat all of that. Okay, taste test commencing now. Oh, it's, it's going. <laughs> that one looks crispy, and I kind of like it when it's a little crispy. <laughs> yeah, it's really soft right here. Uh-huh. 
Like monkey bread. Ooh, it smells really good. It also smells hot. Mmm. For the amount of sugar that is on that, it doesn't taste like there's that much sugar on it. No. It's not which is like, really sweet. Which is weird because there's a lot of sugar on there. I love the see. cinnamon. What do you think? Good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Does it taste like there's as much sugar in it as there is in it? <laughs> there's a lot of sugar in it. I thought it kind of tasted a little bit like a really sweet. Mm -hmm. One of those sweet rolls. Well, and I bought the butter biscuits so they'd be like butterier. Mm, butterier? Yeah, it's a word. It's more caramel like than sweet. Mm -hmm. Like a deep molasses -y flavor, you know? Recipe number two uh, coming up right now. Today's crock pot dessert is still the cinnamon pull apart roll, etc. But the recipe is slightly different, the ingredients are slightly different, and the directions are slightly different. So we're just gonna see like which one is better because I just I want to give you guys the best information I have at my fingertips. In this recipe, they are asking you to put the parchment paper inside of the crock pot, which I think is genius. And I have already sprayed it with some cooking spray. You need one can of flaky biscuits and one can of Grand's cinnamon rolls with icing. There should only be five rolls in this one. They were very specific on using this kind. And just like in the last recipe, open it up and cut each biscuit into six even pieces. Okay, let's see if this one explodes and hurts my hand. Hang on. On the icing one, set the icing to the side. We will use it at the end. <laughs> what? Why you, why you gotta do that to me? All right. Where's the line? Okay. There we go. All right, let's chop these into pieces. <laughs> Next is a half a cup of melted butter with a half a cup of brown sugar, packed brown sugar, and that's kind of going to be our sauce. Let's get that in and stir it. Please don't splash. Ugh. Just wang jangle that together. Okay, that looks pretty delicious. I mean, that's how cookies are made, butter and sugar together, so okay. Set that to the side. Here's where the video gets a little tricky because the recipe asks for McCormick's breakfast apple cinnamon seasoning packet topper, uh, what is it called? McCormick good morning apple cinnamon French toast slow cooker breakfast seasoning mix. Blech. Oh my goodness. Now I went to three stores looking for this product and I can't find it. So I'm wondering if it was a seasonal thing or they tried to launch it, it didn't do well, and they quit making it. It's supposed to kind of taste like apples and French toast. I don't have any apples or like French toast seasoning. So instead, <laughs> I'm just gonna make, I am making up my own recipe right now. <laughs> I found this butterscotch pudding in my pantry. We're gonna take this and we're gonna mix it with white sugar and cinnamon. Sprinkle all of our dough with this. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Let's get started. <laughs> The plain ones are in here and we will top with, oh my God, let's re-stir this. We're gonna to top with half of our brown sugar butter mixture. Oh, it's very sticky and sugary. I hope you guys didn't think you were gonna get a healthy recipe today. <laughs> but that's not what we're doing. And now come the cinnamon roll bits. <laughs> what if I just like poured all of it? Right? Okay. And dump the rest of this on top. Don't leave all that extra stuff. Come home. 
That's the best part. I don't know that I can spread it out very well, but you get the idea. Now, just like with the other recipe, we're gonna take a clean kitchen towel over the top, then the lid, and it's gonna cook for about two hours or so, but at least in this one, they did say to check it every 30 minutes, rotate it around, make sure it's not burning. I'll see you guys in a while. Oh, make sure you plug it in and turn it on high. Okay, this has been about an hour and 45 minutes, and what I notice is that it is not getting burnt on the sides like the other one. So I don't know if that's the parchment paper that's protecting it or the fact that I didn't have the hole in the middle. So it's like shallower. I'm not sure. It feels, I'm just trying to see if it's like gooey at all. It doesn't feel gooey, but it does feel soft. I think it is time to pull it out and drizzle my icing on top. And then we're going to do a taste test. I will say taking this out with parchment paper is way easier. Like way easier. It smells a touch dark on this side, but it's definitely not as black as um, as the other batch was. Parchment paper for the win. Ah, it's coming out in chunks and not a drizzle. How sad. Okay, get on. <laughs> what do you think of that, Tyler? Looks pretty good. Looks pretty yummy. Hey, do you guys want to come try this? How much do you I, want I me to take? I don't want to feel greedy. I don't know, like like the chunk, like that. And make sure you get the bottom because that's where the saucy stuff is. How about, how about that? Okay, mm. go sit down. These are small. They look, this looks really small. Yeah, grab a fork. Okay, that's kind of a big bite. feel like a mukbang right now I thought mukbangs were just eating on camera but as it turns out that's incorrect I guess it's people eating disgustingly large amounts of food on camera and smacking and lots of loud noises help me understand this number one it's not burnt <laughs> number two I feel like it's sweeter than the other one the other one while buttery and delicious, didn't taste as sweet. And while there is a good amount of sugar in this, this does not taste overly sweet. And also something else, the other one had a full cup of butter in it, and this one only had a half a cup of butter in it, like half the amount of butter and brown sugar. It has less brown sugar, and I like it better than the other one. I think this one is better. This one is better. And the edges have like a little bit of crunch, quite crunch, where the brown sugar got like boiled a bit. That's pretty good. We'll try some kids. Okay, Ryan, can we stop with the water, please? It sounds like someone's peeing in the background. Okay, first of all, it's sweeter. Second of all, this like outer like mm -hmm. part is like my favorite. It's mm -hmm. really good. I think I like this one better. This one's better than the other one. Mm -hmm. Andrew, what do you think? I don't know, they're both about the same to me. Do you like the other one or this one? That doesn't answer the question. Definitely this one. Did you like the, um, the other one or this one? Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, four. It's kind of like, oh, to me it feels a little more soft and sweeter. Okay. I like that it looks like it's in smaller pieces like that. Final thoughts on the two recipes. The second one is definitely the win for my family. I will leave the recipe down below for you I, since I, I kind of like took someone else's but then kind of made it my own in the end. <laughs> One more time, if you guys want to enter this week's giveaway, head over to the Facebook page. And if you want to see tomorrow's crock pot dessert, it's going to be on Jenny Goff's channel. I will leave her channel link down below. She'll be making a caramel apple bread pudding, not to be confused with caramel apple bread pudding. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you in the next video.